Nolensville, Tennessee is an absolutely amazing place to live. It has so many wonderful things going for it. There are lots of people moving here now. People are starting to catch on. It is a smaller town, but it packs a punch and people absolutely love it in Nolensville. But like any place, it can have its drawbacks. So we like to talk about the positives and how much we love places, but sometimes it's also good to cover the negatives. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the cons, reasons why you might not want to live in Nolensville. Because while it is important to talk about all those things that we love, we don't want you moving here and not knowing some of those cons. So today we're going to do our best to cover some of those. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jennifer Gramling. I'm a real estate agent here in the Nashville, Williamson County and surrounding area. And I just put out weekly content trying to get you more familiar with this area. If you're thinking about moving here or relocating, this is going to be a great channel for you. We cover a lot of different topics and areas just like this. Pros and cons. We do neighborhood tours, just everything that we can possibly do to try to get you prepared to move here to the Nashville area so that you can be the most informed that you can be. And again, like I said, I am a real estate agent here in the area. So if you have any questions about moving or relocating, be sure to reach out to me. You can find all my contact information in the comments. And then there's also a Calendly link as well. If you want to book a time to talk with me about your move or whatever questions you may have, feel free to book a time on there as well. Okay, so let's jump right into some of these cons of living in Nolensville. Okay, so Nolensville, Tennessee is located just south of Brentwood, east of Franklin, and south of Nashville. And where its particular location is, I'm gonna show you right here on the map, and that is gonna take us to our first con about living in Nolensville, and that is not being located directly on one of the major highways. So if you take a look at this map with me, I'm gonna show you Nolensville is located right here on this 3141A Street. And as you can see, I'll just draw a little circle around it right here. So you're located right in between this I-65, which goes all the way north into Nashville, or you can get over here to this 24 that takes you all up into Nashville. Now don't get confused because if you're looking at this on a map, this 41A right here looks as big as these two highways right here, but it is not. So don't be fooled by this. If you think to yourself, I'll live in Nolensville right here and I will drive north up to Nashville up this 41A because it goes straight up there, that would be a big mistake. You would learn that as soon as you got here. So this is not a freeway. This has stoplights all the way up and can get really jammed up as you go up into Nashville. So a lot of people are wondering what's the quickest way to get into Nashville. And that is typically gonna be to come over here west to 65. You can go east to 24 and go up that, but 24 tends to be a lot worse worse for traffic than 65 does in my experience. So really the best way, depending on where you're coming from, would be to take one of these connector roads, which would be this Concord, if you're a little bit further north in Nolensville, or Clovercroft, which runs along this south side of town, connects you over here to Wilson Pike and up to 65. And like I said, that's just in my experience, that's usually the best way to go, rather than trying to get over here to 24. So you are located kind of in between. So if you're needing immediate highway access, it's not going to be the most convenient place for you to be. That being said, if you're needing to go somewhere, it's very easy to get over to 24 or 65, depending on where you need to go without traffic. You're looking at about 25 to 30 minutes to get to the airport from Nolensville and about 25 to 30 minutes to get to downtown Nashville. And then to get over to Franklin, it's only about 15, 20 minutes, depending on where in town you are. And also up to Brentwood, it's very easy to get up there 10, 15 minutes as well. So you are very centrally located in a really great location. It's just if you want to go out of your house and immediately jump on the highway, probably not going to be able to do that here. But then the upside to that is going to be that you won't have all of that congestion from all of those freeways flowing right off of the exits and into your neighborhoods. So you are tucked away a little bit from a lot of that congestion and things that's going on in some of those bigger towns like Franklin. Franklin has a much larger population than Nolensville, and so they're gonna have a lot more of that freeway congestion than you're gonna have over here in Nolensville, which is going to easily lead me into my second point and my second con, and that is going to be the traffic. So you will hear people complain a lot about the traffic in Nolensville, but here's my take on this. Nolensville has grown immensely. A couple of years ago, we were at 9,000 people. I believe we're up to about 15,000 population, so still a very small town, but but we're still needing to update a lot of this infrastructure to support some of this extra population growth. If you get on some of the Facebook groups, be sure, be prepared to listen to people complaining about the roads and the traffic and all of those things. Here's the thing. I don't really find the traffic to be that bad. I think it depends on where you've come from, what kind of traffic that you're used to. And for me, 
I don't commute during rush hour times, so I don't really notice it as much. And this past year, I have been driving into downtown Nashville multiple times a week, right around that rush hour time. Even coming home from downtown Nashville at 4.30, it would take me about 35, 40 minutes to get back into Nolensville. Now, I think the later you get into the night, the worse the traffic gets. Let's jump back to the map really quick just to show you what you're looking at as far as that commute goes. Okay, so just to help orient you, if you're traveling down from Nashville and coming into Nolensville, you're very likely gonna take one of two ways. There's really only a couple of connector roads that will bring you into Nolensville. And that is gonna be this Concord Road right here. So if you're coming down 65, you get off on this Concord, it takes you over to the north side of Nolensville. But then the second way is gonna be to take Clovercroft. So Clovercroft is gonna be this little white road that goes in right here, is going to bring you all the way over into Nolensville. You can get here a couple of different ways by still getting off up here on Concord, or you can also get off over here in the Cool Springs area and take this road, McEwen, all the way over. Now, I will say the other day I drove this at rush hour. I was going in the opposite direction towards the freeway from Nolensville. It was right around six o'clock. And I will say this is just a little two lane road, Clovercroft, just a little two lane road. Concord is much bigger, but these little roads right here, they had cars backed up quite a while waiting to get through this light right here and waiting to get through these lights right here. So coming back this direction into Nolensville at rush hour, you can get pretty jammed up. But if you're not traveling right at rush hour, it's really not a problem. Also that main road, that 3141A, can get very congested during rush hour times as well. And they can be doing construction on it sometimes, which also backs up traffic on that road. But really, if you're not traveling at rush hour, which so many people aren't anymore, I mean, I guess that's the really good thing that came out of COVID is that so many more people were able to work from home, they're able to work remotely, or you're working odd hours. If you're not traveling in and out at 6 p.m., then you're probably going to be fine. I would just say if you're coming for a visit and you're very, very worried about traffic, go sit in it. Drive like you would, whatever your commute's gonna be, and just see if it's something that you can live with or something that you can't. Chances are it's going to be fine. Most people that are coming from other places, the traffic that we have here is really nothing compared to where they're coming from. And they are working hard trying to come up with solutions and really beef up some infrastructure around here. So hopefully we'll start to see some relief as far as some of those roads and some of that traffic is concerned in the future. Okay, so the third con to living in Nolensville is going to be that there are no real big box stores here in Nolensville. That may be a con for you. It's definitely a pro for me because it's really only about 15 minutes to get over into Cool Springs with everything you need in Cool Springs, in Franklin. And then also it's only another 15 minutes in the other direction to get into Smyrna, where again, you're gonna find the things like your Target. You'll also find in Cool Springs really everything that you need. You'll have Sam's Club, Costco, Walmart, Target, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Kroger Publix, all those things over there. And again, it's only about 15 minutes to get there, which is super easy. Here in Nolensville, you can go north to Brentwood to get to the grocery store, which again, it's only about 10 minutes to get to the grocery store, but it's not located within the city limits of Nolensville, although they are working on building a couple of grocery stores right down in that main area of Nolensville. And actually jumping back to my map, I'll just show you. Right down in this area, this is kind of where your main street is in Nolensville. They are building a Publix and a Kroger right here in this area. So that's a little bit down the road, one they have broken ground on, but so you will have some grocery stores in here eventually. You do have an Aldi's right up here. And like I said, up here in Brentwood, you're gonna have a Publix and a Kroger. But then while you don't have all those big box stores, what you will have are a lot of smaller places that are not chains. We do have a couple, really the most that we have is gonna be a Sonic that's located right in the middle of town. You will find all of the high schoolers there after all the football games, baseball games, really on weekends. There's not tons of places for them to hang out, but it's actually kind of nice because you always know where your teenager is. They're pretty much always at Sonic and a lot of different restaurants. You can even find things like Happen Chance, which is a wine bar. We've got a whiskey distillery, Wheeler's Raid. We've got Mill Creek Brewery, which is a fantastic brewery. And Wheeler's Raid does have live music there as well on the weekends, which is also really fun. We have restaurants like Pork Belly Farmhouse. We have Italian, we have amazing barbecue. We have pizza and burgers and sushi restaurants and really anything and everything that you need 
you're just not gonna get the big box tours, which a lot of people really like. So if you're really wanting to be, you know, five minutes from Target, that's definitely not gonna be Nolansville. You're probably gonna wanna be in that Franklin and Brentwood area. If you wanna be a little bit further removed with some of the local places, we have an organic grocery store called Oh My Chives. that has a fantastic coffee bar, amazing food and a juice bar, lots of coffee shops. But yes, if you're wanting to be five minutes from Target, you're probably gonna wanna be closer to that Brentwood or Franklin area. But if you wanna be a little bit further removed, have a lot of great local places, but still have great access to easily get over to Franklin or Brentwood where a lot of those other things are, it's a very quick trip to get over that way. Okay, and the fourth con, if it's not what you're looking for, it's definitely a con, is that it is much smaller. Now, some people may really find that to be a pro, but if you're looking for a denser urban area, this is not it. So like I said, population here was right around 9,000. I do think it's up to about 15,000 now. So growing, but still very small. A lot of the people know each other. You know, as many wonderful places as there are to go and eat, it's also kind of limited because it is just smaller. So that will limit some of the places where you can shop it will limit some of the places where you can eat and it will limit some of your activities that are just five minutes right outside your door. The other thing it's really going to limit is going to be your housing choices. So I think sometimes people are surprised when they may have more options for housing in a place like Franklin, but that is simply because Franklin is so much larger. Nolansville only has so many neighborhoods for so many people. So if you're looking for houses, there may not be as much available inventory since Nolansville is so much smaller. So it is gonna limit how many neighborhoods there are, how many houses there are to choose from. And if you're not finding a neighborhood that you absolutely fall in love with, then there aren't necessarily 50 more neighborhoods to go out and choose from. So that's also something to just keep in mind. If you're looking for a place in Franklin or you're looking for a place in Nolansville, you're probably going to find a lot more neighborhoods and types of neighborhoods to choose from in a place like Franklin than you will in Nolansville just because of its size. Okay, so the fifth and final con we are going to talk about for living in Nolansville is going to be the cost of living, mainly the cost of housing. So obviously living in Tennessee, you're gonna have a very low cost of living as compared to some other states. Our property taxes here in Nolansville are going to be very low. So that's really great compared to a lot of other states. We obviously have no state income tax. Our cost to register our cars here is greatly below a lot of other states. Homeowners insurance is low, so a lot of costs here are going to be lower. The one thing that you're going to find in Nolansville is going to be that the cost of those houses is going to be a little bit higher and a lot higher than some of the other median price points out there in the MLS. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump over and take a look at this in our MLS. So this is the data in our actual MLS. And if you take a look at this, our median home price, our median sales price here in Nolansville is $746,785, which is up considerably. If we look at October of 2020, we were at 517,000. So we've gone up quite a bit since then. And if we look at the average price point, we're up to 774,611. Now just compare that to the entire MLS and we're almost $300,000 higher than the average home price in our entire MLS. So that's a considerable difference but you'll want to keep in mind that Williamson County is the most expensive county to buy in in the state of Tennessee. So living in Nolansville and Williamson County, you are going to have that expense to be in Williamson County. Now, that being said, as you know, the market is changing a little bit. We're seeing a lot more houses on the market. We're seeing a lot more opportunities to buy, and we're seeing some of those prices finally level out, making it not so hard to buy and opening up a lot more opportunities for people to get in at a decent price point. There was a time last year, if you told me that you wanted new construction in Nolansville, I would have told you, I cannot find you anything under a million dollars. Now that's not the case. Finally, it's easing up. It's opening up opportunities for other people to get in here. And some of these homes that are under that million dollar price point to actually be sold. There are some fantastic neighborhoods in and around Nolansville where you can buy in the 600 plus and even below that. And again, a time last year when I can remember when we had 11 total listings in all of our MLS for Nolansville. So just really nothing to choose from. Now we have so many more options, lots more houses coming on the market, all the way from single family starter homes up to multi-million dollar homes on property. So just a lot more opportunities to buy in Nolansville to fit a lot of different budgets. But the great thing is that now that some of those prices are starting to level out, 
There's lots of fantastic houses, some beautiful neighborhoods, and some amazing places to live in Nolansville. So that's it. That's my five cons to living in Nolansville. As I said, it has a ton of things going for it, a lot of really great positives. But if any of these things are a problem for you, then there's lots of other places where you can go, lots of other places to live in and around the Nashville area. So be sure to reach out to me. Like I said, you can reach out to me with any and all of those moving questions. I'd be happy to answer any and all of those. So be sure just to reach out. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next video.